Ersted observed that the direction of the magnetic field depends on the direction of the electric current, and that's because the magnetized needle swung different ways, 180 out, depending on which way the current was going. The direction of the magnetic field is given by the right-hand grip rule, also just known as right-hand rule number one, or the corkscrew rule, a couple different names. And before you think that physicists are that funny, uh, it's actually using vector calculus that gives you the direction of it, using something called vector multiplication or the cross product or the curl. But we're not going to get into that now. That'll have to wait till AP Physics C. Here's how you do it. Take your right hand and stick your thumb in the direction of the current of the wire. Then curl your fingers around it. And that, the direction that those fingers are curling, see how that magnetic field is in the same direction? That tells you the magnetic field direction. You could also do it this way. Well, actually, this is just another view. You grab around the wire, thumb goes in the direction of the current, and see how these magnetic field lines are going in that direction, following the directions of your fingers. Now, don't do this for real. You never grab a wire unless you have to. So we're just kind of doing this on pieces of paper. Let's be safe. To find the magnetic field at any point on these concentric circles, you draw a tangent to the circle. So if you want to find the magnetic field at this point, it would be pointing in that direction. At this point, pointing in that, whoops, pointing in that direction. You take the tangent. And by the way, there's not just one magnetic field here. The loops keep going and they're infinitely close together, okay? We're just representing it with one set of concentric loops. Note, there is no component of the magnetic field pointing towards or away from the wire, right? Unlike electric charges, right? The field actually originates on the charge or comes back to it. Magnetic fields, due to a wire, there's no component pointing towards it. They are always perpendicular to it. When you have a current circulating around an iron core, you create a magnetic field, and that device is called an electromagnet. When you turn the current off, it is no longer a magnet. So a very practical use for this are industrial electromagnets. You can see here's the magnet. You have wires going down to it. And here it's picking up a bunch of metallic junk. So you can pick things up, swing the scrap somewhere else if you want to dump it in a dumpster. And then you would turn the current off. The junk is no longer attracted by the electromagnet because there's no current there. There's no magnetism and it falls down.